Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube channel today. Today is August the 3rd of 2022. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord. This word today is not addressing a subject the Lord hasn't addressed before. But I believe the Lord wants to give us a fuller understanding of the seriousness of what is taking place in the world today. We recognize that we are living in an ungodly world. The forces of evil are all around us trying to snuff out the word of the Lord and to push back any influence God's people would have in the world. But there is more to it. The Lord has been building his church, but even within the church, evil has infiltrated. And in the time and season we are living in, the Lord is about to not only expose wickedness in the world, but also within the church. We all know that the church is not a physical building. It is a spiritual building of the Lord. And yet, when we refer to the church, we usually are referring to the structure of the church, the buildings we go to on Sundays to worship the Lord. And we assume that those who gather are there because they truly belong to the Lord. But the Lord is making it quite clear that that is not the case. He's spoken about judgment coming to the house of God. And once again, in this word today, he is addressing this fact. I hope this word will encourage you, but also give you insight into what is going on round about us when we see chaos even within the church. This word today is titled, The Crumbling of the Old. I'll begin by reading scripture. Romans 8 verses 18 through 19. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. This scripture tells us that a time is coming when the true church, the true sons of God, those who truly belong to the Lord, will be revealed to the world. Therefore, suggesting that what we see may not be as it truly is. 1 Peter 2 verses 4 through 5 As you come to him, the living stone, rejected by men, but chosen by God and precious to him, you also like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. This scripture reference defines the spiritual building of the Lord, that we are living stones being built into a spiritual structure. Ephesians 2 verses 19 through 22. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone in whom the whole structure, being joined together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place 
for God by the Spirit. This scripture passage as well describes the spiritual structure the Lord is building as he builds his church. 2 Corinthians 11 verses 13 through 15 For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. This scripture is a very weighty one that tells us that there has been an infiltration in the body of Christ of false apostles, of wicked ones disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. I'll begin reading the word. Farther, I am taking you farther into the realm of my spirit, says the Lord. I am revealing to you the things of my heart in this day. I am releasing to you manna from heaven, the word of life, and equipping you to take it to the nations. Get ready, the doors are about to open. The stage is set for the servants of the Lord to be revealed in this day, and all will marvel as the veil is pulled back and the eyes of the blind are opened to see the glory and the brightness of the Lord radiating through my chosen ones, those called and appointed for such a time as this, to march forth through the earth as a mighty army to pull down the strongholds and high places. Prophesy, speak the word forth. Power and authority are in the words you speak. Greater works than I have done you will do. I am about to pour out my spirit in great measure upon the earth, and my servants shall function in full capacity to pull down strongholds. Signs and wonders shall follow them as they declare forth the power of the risen Lord. I am taking down the structure that exalts man and the works of the flesh, says the Lord. I am taking it to the ground. I am tearing away the supports and the whole building will come down. Those who are wise will remove themselves for they will see that the structure is about to fall. I am impressing upon the hearts of my people to leave the old and to enter into the new, to give up the old structure, to abandon it, to sever ties with it, and to enter into the new building, not built by hands of men, but birthed from the heart of God. This is the day, says the Lord. I am removing the pillars from the structure, and the framework will come tumbling down. Those who remain faithful to the old will fall with it. They will be trampled underfoot, for I shall pour out my wrath upon the sons of disobedience. You will see this in your midst. You will see the old structure crumble to pieces and be no more. This is the word of the Lord, spoken through the prophets who have been sent to warn and instruct the people. Those who deny the word of the Lord will come under judgment, but those who heed it and obey shall be saved, for this is the day of judgment upon the household of God. Many will try to justify the works of the flesh, to defend the wickedness of those in the structure. Many have hardened their hearts and cling to idols. Their hearts are not open to the heartbeat of the Lord. They are a stiff-necked people 
who will undergo great tribulation. They will not be lifted out of the destruction that is to come, but shall undergo discipline upon discipline. Those I am removing and building into the new building will be instrumental to bringing in the harvest of souls that is about to be emptied into the household of God. I will rescue those whose hearts are after me. I will take out those who have been trapped in tradition and false teachings. I will open their eyes to the truth and rescue them. My arm is not too short to accomplish this, says the Lord. I have seen the plight of those who have been caught in the deceiver's web. I have heard their cry for understanding, and I am bringing them into the light, and they shall understand, and they shall be taken out and placed into the new building." I will lift them up and out and join them together with the rest of the body of Christ, the true church, those who have not worshipped the golden calf. I will speak to their hearts, instruct them, rescue them from deception, and place them into the building of the Lord. I am at work cutting them free from the lies of the enemy and revealing my truth to them. Be faithful, my children, to travail for these, for their release is coming, and when the last one is taken out, destruction shall come upon the assembly of evil doers. Pray for the release of those held captive. Intercede for their freedom, for I am moving swiftly. I am cutting the ropes that have held them bound. I will do it. I will release them from the hierarchy of deception that has held them trapped. I have raised up my warriors in this day to pull down the high places, to smite the giants, and to intercede for the release of the captives. Great is the power of God at work on the earth in this day. Great is the river that flows from the throne room of God to accomplish the purposes of God. Great is the Lord's faithfulness toward those who seek him, for they shall find him, and he shall deliver them from the destruction that is coming upon the ungodly says the Lord. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is reiterating what he has spoken about before regarding judgment coming to the house of God. It speaks about deception that has been prevalent and how he is rescuing those who have been trapped in this man-made system of religion. The Lord is encouraging those who have been held captive to come out from this structure and he is speaking to their hearts and giving them understanding to see what is truly going on. The Lord tells us too that there will be those who try to justify their wickedness in this structure. And he tells us that this structure is coming down and that his true church will emerge and be seen by all. So yes, this is the day of the judgment of God upon the household of God. And we who truly belong to the Lord need to be praying and interceding for the captives to be released from the old system, to be released into the spiritual house that God is building, into the truth of God's word, into communion with the Lord Jesus Christ, into the spiritual dwelling place for the Lord. I hope this word today 
blesses you and encourages you that things are speeding up, that the Lord is accomplishing his purposes for these last days as he pours out his glory upon the earth. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.